So, students, so we are in presentation session. Yesterday and the previous day, I asked students to demonstrate only one in each topic. But today, three in each topic, randomly. First, one will be selected for first topic, and then the second, third, and again, first, second, third, first, second, third. Just you come here and give your lecture. Is that clear? Are you ready, Anna? So I have already managed the kids. Kids are here. The first seat will be taken by me, but the first second one will be taken by the first presenter in that way. Understood? So shall I take one? Let me see. And what is our first topic? Reproduction. Reproduction. What is the first topic? Reproduction. Okay, for reproduction, I'm going to select the presentator. Presentator is. Mm -hmm. 
Ronan. Thank you. Substance like hydrogen are produced by the method of boarding. One after another, they produce different, different plants and produce one, one plant. Now, natural scientific propagation of plants. First is uh, by steam. Uh, plants, uh, the plants which are reproduced uh, by the natural scientific propagation. By steam are uh, potatoes, <coughs> like these types of oh. Types of plants are reproduced by the natural reproduction of steams. And it is also done by the production of roots. Uh, plants are uh, lemons and others. And by other Crop days for AC and as a base to do better in AC, students are asked to make presentation. But this presentation is very weak. This presentation is like the experience of 456. Why? Till your concept is not clear. In reproduction, first of all, you have to say about the types of production, asexual reproduction, sexual reproduction. And he's saying in human beings, sexual reproduction is like this. In plants, it doesn't take this. In plants, it doesn't take this. It doesn't happen simply. So, types of asexual reproduction, fission, budding, we just mentioned two. There is fragmentation and regeneration. There is correlation. Then vegetative propagation. Two types of vegetative propagation. Natural. Natural, he just said a little bit. Only by stem. And where is by root? Where is by leaf? Isn't it? Artificial. Cutting. Layering. Grafting. Tissue culture. Right? And sexual reproduction. By the fusion of gametes. And single fertilization. Double fertilization. Those things must be explained. Your preparation is not good. Eh? So now, for next topic. What is the next topic? Heredity. Heredity. Please come here. Come here. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Should you close? Look that side. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Come here, yes, 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 yes. You're good. Here are two. You're good. Let's look at that one. Eleven. Eleven. Oh. Oh. Eleven. Who's number eleven? Sony. Sony is going to present in the topic. Thirty-one. <laughs> Right? C, sir. C. What is C? C, not C. I said Sony and he is around. You like C? I didn't say C. I said Sony. I hear him. In mind also moving here and there. Hey, Piro. Okay. You can see that. Of the amelina, you found children who are very similar to your parents. You can see that your 
eyes, uh, eyes colors, their skin colors, and the pattern of their hairs are very similar to their parents because the parent, uh, parental characteristics transfer to their off, offspring. So we can, uh, from here, we can know that uh, uh, the process where the parental characteristics transfer from generation to uh, transfer to their offspring off from generation to generation, then it is called genetics. And you can uh, see that if uh, the offspring has a new characteristics which are not quite similar to their pa parents, then uh, it is also known as variation. And as uh, this, uh, this genetics and variation are very important for the, to know about the uh, characteristics and the function and similarities between the organism. Uh, George John Mendel was the one uh, was the one who <coughs> is known as the father of genetics because he was the one who uh, propounded the uh, uh, propounded the genetics and variation uh, functions. Um, he uh, he used pea plant in his experiment because of the following reasons. Pea plant is na is a natural uh, self pollination plant and artificial cross pollination also can be done in this uh, pea plant if we uh, want to make it happen then uh, it is uh, this plant are very con convenient convenient to uh, handles it can go anywhere uh, anywhere and everywhere uh, any place where we like to uh, uh, make it grow and uh, this plant uh, uh, can produce a large amount of uh, of, of spring uh, from a single plant and likewise, uh, like, uh, likewise uh, the terms uh, which are used in uh, genetics. Uh, one is unique, in first of all, the unique characters comes, the uh, definite external characteristics of an individuals in a cross is known as unique characteristics. It's the role in various uh, other forms of the genetics. The second comes uh, uh, mono hybrid and uh, Mona hybrid and I hybrid characters. Mona hybrid characters means when there is a cross, when there is only one unit characteristic is used in a cross pollination, a cross pollination then uh, it is known as mona hybrid uh, character. For example, if we use a, use a, if there is a cross between a tall plant and a dark plant, then it is known as mona hybrid characters and likewise when the two unique character characteristics are used in a used in a cross cross then it is known as the hybrid uh, characteristics for example if a uh, round shape yellow uh, seed of pea plant is used and uh, the wrinkle uh, wrinkle green seed plant is used in the cross pollination then it gives the hybrid characteristics <laughs> like likewise uh, another term of uh, another term which I use, which is used in genetic, is uh, genetic is dominance and decisive character characters. Dominance is when uh, when in a cross pollination, if there uh, there is a characteristic which can be seen by covering the other characters, then it is known as dominant uh, characters. For example, in a cross pollination, if there is a uh, plants which is used, uh, which is which has the capital form like uh, that of tall plant, which uh, is uh, represented by capital T, then it is known as dominance character. Likewise, of uh, recessive characters, those characters which cannot be uh, seen due to the presence of the dominance character, then it is called recessive character. For example, the plant which is used like uh, of if there is a cross pollination between the cross tall plant and dark plant, dark plant is represented by the small capital D, then it is known as recessive characters. And recessive characters, there's a, uh, there are likewise, uh, uh, there are many of, uh, many of, many of Genotypes, genotypes, and uh, genotypes, genotypes. Uh, the morphological characteristics which is seen in an organism is known as phenotypes, and the makeup, uh, the makeup of an organism is known as uh, genotypes and hybrid. Uh, we can know that the definition of a hybrid, hybrid is the uh, presence of different phenotypes and genotypes is, uh, is known as. Uh, 
I did. And uh, in uh, as we have known that the George Zone mineral was the one who propounded uh, the genetics. Uh, it, uh, he uses three laws, law of dominance, law of purity of gametes, and law of separation, law of separation, separation of the plants, plants likewise. Variation, variation is a morphological, morphological and psychological characteristics seen in the uh, organism is known as variation. It is also of different types of, which is of continuous and For the first time of it, commanding voice came. See, try. This is the way. Give, a big, give her a big round of applause. Yeah. You are better in class. You are better in class. Why don't you have confidence? You must be well prepared and come here. Thank you, Sony. Now, will you pick it up one seat for the topic nature and environment?
Thank you, Akriti and uh, Anjanik. So, our presentation classes are being more smarter day by day. Um, I hope next day you will do much better. So, at least you must be able to explain within 15 minutes whole chapter. Clear? Yeah? So, what are the topics for tomorrow? Practice. Be ready for tomorrow's presentation. Thank you.